Hi everyone, welcome to my channel JS2 Big Data. This is the RabbitMQ tutorial series in Java. In this video, I will demonstrate you how to install and set up RabbitMQ using Docker and Docker Compose. So let's get started. Now to proceed with this installation, please make sure you have Docker and Docker Compose installed. So to check that, you can run Docker space dash v similarly for the docker compose version make sure you have minimum docker version 19 installed on your system and similarly minimum 1.24 version for docker compose all you need to do is just create a text file with the name docker-compose.yaml and then just paste this content inside your text file please note these two environment variables rabbitmq default user and rabbitmq default password so these are the username and password that we will use to set on the RabbitMQ server. With the same username and password, we will log in into the RabbitMQ management UI. So please make sure you are inside a directory where you want to run the RabbitMQ examples. So I am inside my RabbitMQ dash tutorial directory. Now I want to check whether Docker is installed on my system. If it is not installed, please install Docker and Docker Compose. Similarly, I will check Docker Compose. Now that I have Docker and Docker Compose installed on my system, I will create a Docker Compose file. So I will create docker compose.yaml file. Now I have already copied the content that I have shown you before. So I just pasted it and then I'm just going to save the file. In if you do not want to use the inbuilt VI editor, you can use your favorite text editor. Now I will run docker compose up. This will make the RabbitMQ up. This may take a while. So now the server is up. So all you need to do is remember the port on which the management UI is available which is 15672. So once the server is up all you need to do is visit localhost colon 15672 and log in with the username and password. So if you remember we are using guest and guest and you can see all the components of RabbitMQ here. You can see the number of connections, channels, exchanges, queues and the admin users that, that are available on this RabbitMQ server. You can also see the Erlang version and the RabbitMQ version here. Uh, right now we are not using any cluster so you only see one name but if you set up a cluster you can find all the informations here. So that's all as part of the RabbitMQ management UI overview. Everything that I have spoken I have already created a blog article on this so please make sure to check out my blog on how to set up and install RabbitMQ server. If you need the content for your docker compose file you can just copy it from here. So that's all as part of the installation. Thank you for watching. If you like this video please do not forget to click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.